every time you watch the backflip from Travis Pastrana, you say, are you kidding me? Did that really happen? kicker for Travis Pastrani. Wants him five feet back and kicked up a foot. Travis Pastrana, his mom is standing about 100 feet from us, pacing back and forth. Every rider in the house is watching. The world is watching. definitive stamp on this competition last year with that double backflip. But the question remains, how long will that stamp last? It's now a question that's up for debate. The double backflip, I, I hear people talking about it. No, I'm sure someone will step to it eventually. I don't really know if the risk to benefit factor is worth it. I'm pretty content with not trying it right now. It's not the end of that trick. There'll be somebody who decides they want to do it. So I just think it's just going to be some dude from out of the woods and just going for it. Just wants to come out and make a name for himself and ain't got nothing to lose. If Rocky rode a dirt bike, you'd probably find him in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, in the tiny and ironic town of Helps. And you'd probably call him Scott Murray. When Travis Pastrano did that double back and we were sitting there watching it, he pushed away the chair and he said, I wanted to be the first one to do that. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I wanted to do a double backflip because I, I just I thought it'd be fun. With the X Games, now it's more along the lines of a necessity. He feels that he has to do that to win out there, and everything he set his goals at, he's done. Oh, it's dangerous. I mean. The, the risk is, is phenomenal. There's a reason Travis doesn't want to do it again. For myself, it's, it's an accomplishment thing. Being able to say that I've accomplished something that only a select few will ever accomplish. It's a commitment thing. Most guys have trouble committing to a single flip. They're overtired right now, so you might want to take a break. Uh, I don't see a double backflip being a commonplace trick. I don't see that ever happening. I don't think that anybody really has more to lose when it comes to a double backflip. You know, things are things, and whether you're Pastrana or whether you're me, you know, we're on separate ends of the scale here. Losing your life is, is not what anybody wants to do. It's funny how Travis's double back was Moto's great leap forward, and Scott Murray's version, as you see him there, looking like he's in prayer, is the sport getting back to its roots when guys just threw tricks to see, well, if they could do it. We will see how a packed Staples Center house affects this rookie from the backwoods of Michigan. The pressure time is on. Scott Murray has arrived. One backflip, double backflip in competition. 
has been landed by Travis Pastrana. Let's take a listen to what Scott has been thinking this week. You guys are more and more than I am. I just, I'm just, this is my first day, so. But, uh, oh my god, dude, this is ridiculous. I walked in the building and I was like, I want to go, I want to go home now. Yeah, yeah, Can I just reverse this a couple of weeks here and then everybody's happy? All right, Scott Murray running the number eight. That was his dad's baseball number. He has relatively no sponsors. He has brought his own ramp, which he towed 2,400 miles from Michigan, from upstate Michigan, never ridden in a competition before. We are standing up. Everybody in Staples Center is standing up. You should get off the couch and stand up right about now. Talk about the pressure cooker. Never been in a competition. Had to watch all these riders. Had to see all these people test. This has got to be a huge moment. Uh, he's leaning down on his bike right now. The pressure is just massive. We know he can make it. We know he has it. But can he land it on dirt on the biggest stage in the world? He's wearing dark sunglasses and an iPod. Here we go. Oh, he doesn't have the glasses on. and moving around freestyle but they're trying to tackle the motorcycle now just so you know when you crash sometimes the throttle will ram into the ground yeah, and that's, that, that, <laughs> that's, that's the guy that actually shot the video everyone has seen from the tree screaming when scott landed on the resi mat and a much tougher landing when something goes wrong here to dirt and as we had said, Scott Murray had never landed this trick to dirt. A lot of people were speculating coming in, including myself, that the pressure of being at the X Games, the people, the millions of people at home, it was going to be something that would be virtually impossible to overcome. But Scott has handled it all week, and to his credit, he went out, he threw his trick, it wasn't exactly perfect, but the good news is we got both rotations around. The bad news is if the rotations don't come around, the impact is going to be incredible. Oh, and he's on his feet. That's unbelievable. He made the second rotation, just came up a little short. We talked about that with Brian Deegan. When you hit the front wheel first, that can be a very, very sad way to end. But look at this. Scott Murray walking to the top of the hill. He's got one more chance to claim it tonight. And the crowd giving him props for the effort. He augured in, he came up short, nosed into it. Now you remember, he brought his own ramp. It is at 65 and a half degrees to take off pitch, which is what he wanted. Tess, where did this go wrong? Well, I guess the question is, did he have enough speed when he came up and off the ramp? Look how slowly he approaches this ramp. Tries to get it all out of the bike. He's pulling hard and probably about a quarter turn too little. I think right here he twists just a little bit. You see the bars coming up a little sideways to him. It might have taken a little time off the spin. You can see him. He's fully committed. He doesn't start to put his hand off the handlebars until the very last moment. What you see running into the ramp is carpet that he brought from Michigan. He likes the traction off the carpet. X Games is all about you being able to do your biggest trick and be as safe as possible. He wanted the carpet. He wanted his own ramp. They made ramp adjustments for Travis last year. No different for Scott Murray. And it's a, it's a common thing in Best Trick. We change things up. We allow you to bring some of your own equipment. But look at this. He just didn't get high enough. He didn't get enough pop off that ramp. And he kind of almost stalls out in the second rotation. If you look at him here, he's coming straight down right here. Now after watching, uh, the one thing I gotta tell everybody at home, if you haven't ridden a dirt bike, a lot of times when you crash it, here's the reaction from his pop. Dad Bruce thinking about running down there, but he also saw Scott get up right away, and there's Scott walking backstage, a 66 
Man, I would have given him more than that just for trying. <laughs> but, I mean, he got he got at least one decent backflip in, but you know this is this is the big stage. It's what we're saying. So you've got to go big and you've got to stop it. Guys, Scott Murray is with the medical team and he's getting checked out. He walked there, but he says there's something the matter with his shoulder. Now I got to speak to him before he took off, and he was crying. He says he's very upset because he came here to nail the double backflip and land it just like his idol Travis Pastrana. And he's really upset because he doesn't think his bike is going to be able to do that again. He definitely wants to get back out there, but we will keep you updated on whether or not his bike is okay and he is okay. Well, I can tell you right now that he is not going to take his second run with a double backflip. His bike is completely trashed. His cable throttle is broke, his bars are bent, but most of all, his engine is now busted. When you keep a two-stroke wide open like it was out on the floor going around in circuits, it burned the pistons and he now doesn't even have a motor. So he is not going to take his second run and I know we're all pretty bummed and like I said, he wanted to get back out there.